Hi friends, here's our challenge to you. We want you to take some water, put it in your water tower, and use a series of straws to deliver this to houses in a neighborhood. Here's the deal, we're counting each straw as worth four houses, but there's also only 12 houses on a block, so you can't go more than three straws in a row without making a turn. This is also a hilly neighborhood, so you must have at least two slope changes either going up or down in your water system. There are all kinds of ways that you can bend your straws and connect them before the water ends up in the bowl at the end, so please feel free to be creative and make this water system your own. But we did provide a short little time lapse and this how-to video, which we hope you find useful as you start to get going. Hey friends, sorry to interrupt, but there's a quick note we had to pass along. I know these stilts we're starting to put the pipes on make it look almost like a roller coaster, but that's not the case. Remember, what's so cool about water systems is that they're all underground. Instead of thinking of these stands as big tall pillars the system's navigating through, think of them as hills and valleys the system goes through when navigating a city. Once you're ready, find a spot for the water tower. And for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be stacking it on top of another cup. But stay tuned at the end for an additional challenge involving the water tower if you're up for it. There's a ton of ways to start building your pipeline, but the way we recommend is to build it flat on the ground before connecting it to anything vertical. And this is gonna be going in fast motion, but we'll be pausing along the way to show you how everything works and it's connected together. According to our design, we're going to need seven straws and six rubber tubes, which are easily snipped in half using a pair of scissors. Take a look at this quick cut before we attach two straws. Connecting straws are obviously a crucial part of this project. The few steps we like to follow are slide a piece of tube over an end of one straw. Make a slit in the end of the other straw and slide it back into the end of the first straw. To finish, slide the tubing right on over the connection you just made. And since the inside straw is technically pushing out on the outside straw, it should be a pretty snug fit and one that we've found prevents leaks pretty well. Remember the activity calls for some slope changes, and this is where these stands come in handy. Between how far you stick the popsicle sticks into the foam blocks and how much you crisscross them, you can control how high the pipeline sits off the ground within a pretty big range. If you do choose to use these stands for extra support, the placement takes some practice, so try out some different ways. So that's the basics of it friends. We hope you're feeling confident and excited to get going. Here are a couple quick tips and an overview of what we just made. So we know this activity can be a little bit challenging, but if you did breeze right through it, check out these next two bonus challenges, which takes it a couple steps even further. For this first challenge, we would love to see you try to make your own water tower and experience firsthand how the difference in height can make a significant impact in the stored energy and the pressure that the height creates. 
using the bonus popsicle sticks and electric tape. See if you can build a structure that confidently holds that cup of water up high. And here you can see an effective way to split your pipeline into two, therefore reaching more houses. But please, we'd love to see any other ways you can come up with to achieve this. Thanks a ton everyone. We can't wait to see and hear about what you made. We'll see you in the next really quick video where we're going to teach you how to test and evaluate your water system.